Joining us now is Tilray CEO Erwin Simon. Good morning, Erwin. Welcome. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Doing all right. Try, try, to, try to understand this deal. My first question is how much of, of Anheuser-Busch recent trials and tribulations around Bud Light had to do with this, this deal? Nothing had to do with this deal. I think the big thing you said is this here. What this takes out from Tilray is predictability. We're not waiting on cannabis legalization. It diversifies Tilray in you know January 2020, rebranded the company Tilray Brands. We got a 30% in the cannabis business in Canada. We're now 30% in our spirits and beer. We got a 30% medical and distribution business. So we're not sitting and waiting for predictability. And I called Anheuser-Busch and asked them about these brands, and we had discussions, and it's a great deal for both of us, and it was great to work with ABI on this. Yeah, I guess I'm just wondering if you got a good price because of some of their, the problems that they've been struggling with. Listen, I think it's, we got great brands and great opportunities to grow these brands, and actually, as you know, strategically with Montauk, which is growing 40% today, and our Sweetwater brand, which is growing. So it really positions mm -hmm. Tilray in a great spot. Very few companies out there have cannabis, beer, bourbon, um, and our medical cannabis distribution business in Europe. I mean, it is so interesting what, how you're diversifying away from cannabis as a cannabis company. A lot of, a lot of investors used to see these, these acquisitions. Montauk, for instance, is the more recent one as ways to get a foothold in the U.S. market for when we do legalize. But now as legalization looks, I don't know, it doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon. Are you saying you're trying to build a, a more diversified consumer brand, packaged goods company, a la Hain Celestial? <laughs> as you know me, sir, I don't sit still. And diversity uh -huh. is important. And I think, again, I can't depend upon this government in regards to legalization. And there's adjacencies out there. And there's no reason one day that every one of these beers can't be infused with THC if that happens. So we have the alcohol piece of it. We have the diversity, you know, the diversity piece that we need to out there today. And we need to diversify. Listen, there was a whole thing the other night in regards to medical cannabis and the benefits from that from our older generation and how that's helping. So I come back and say, listen, hey, we're in the best spot today with the brands that we have. You know, we have 12, 13 cannabis brands. We have 15 brands today in spirits, beer, and energy drinks. We have three brands in Europe from a medical standpoint. And, you know, we're on our way with cash-free positive. Uh, we have a great balance sheet. Hey, I like our stock price today. There's many times throughout the year where I did not like the stock price. And I think everybody was frustrated upon legalization of cannabis and when it would happen and gave up on cannabis stocks. So with that today, you can't give up on Tilray because we're just not a yeah. cannabis company anymore. Erwin, you know, it's one thing to say, you know, you can't wait for the politicians to come around. But do you think that the zeitgeist, the cultural push toward decriminalization or legalization has, has stalled out? Listen, it absolutely has stalled out. But the interesting thing is, listen, Carl, we live in New York City. Every corner we walk on, we smell <laughs> cannabis today. It's legal today between medical cannabis and recreational cannabis in over 35 states. So something has to be done. And my opinion this year, over the next year or two, they're going to legalize medical cannabis and leave it up to each of the states to decide what they want to do from a recreational standpoint. But, you know, there's so much research out there today for medical cannabis and the benefits for sleep, energy, anxiety, cancer patients, epileptic. We need to get our politicians either to decriminalize it legal from a medical standpoint and do something with it. And then you step back and say, you know, Tilray is well positioned because mm -hmm. we have a diversified portfolio and we're diversified in so many different categories.